Hey, what's going on everybody? Major breakthrough here today at Aquaporn. I have my temperature sensor in and reading. It was real, relatively easy build. I just made this basic little circuit right here. The only thing in the circuit is actually a resistor. It goes from 5 volt through the resistor this, to the sensor. Uh, the Arduino plugs in between the resistor and the sensor and that's what's giving me my read and this is just a ground so real basic circuit uh, programming was much easier than the LED programming and is much easier than the navigation programming and it's given me a readout all the time this is going to be my sensor then I'm going to drop into the tank and you will see that just from my body heat it's relatively sensitive so I'm just hoping that it's super accurate because it goes up relatively fast but then when I take my hand off of it it doesn't dissipate or go down as, as quickly. I should have taken my own advice and just gotten the LED portion of the build done but I was too excited. I want to get some fish in here. I have two thermometers, one in the sump and one in the tank and they both read completely different and when I flip flop them they don't change so either one or the other is broken. I'm hoping that the one that's reading 78 degrees is the one that works. The only problem I encountered is my touch screen on my home screen here is really delayed. So let's see, I push and see how long it takes for the for it to read. It didn't even read that time, so we'll try it again didn't read again Let's see if the temple read so this is the only problem I'm encountering is the is the touch screen is, is jacked it only seems to be on the home screen there we go it finally went so but everywhere else the touch screen it's still nice and sensitive. I can navigate around really quickly. It's just that home screen. And I have a feeling it's because I have this is like just sucking memory or something, you know, because it's like just constantly updating the temperature. Might have to try putting a delay in there, like just update it every minute or every couple seconds. Might speed things up or or at least get things to read because none of the touch navigation is reading relatively quickly see that that was a long time before that that finally read that push I don't know if you can catch that delay so that's the only problem I'm encountering I'll try to throw a delay in it see if that gets me where I need to be but just excited wanted to share have a good one everybody later